Yo fam, I realize that most of you watching didn't subscribe to the channel yet, so please subscribe. It's free and it will help me a lot. And don't forget to leave the thumbs up. Fucking thumbs up! Apple G, it's not what it used to be. Welcome back, fam! Yes, Apple G is not what it used to be. In this video, don't take me wrong or anything. I'm not against Apogee equipment. I'm just against Apogee ethics and Apogee way of doing business. I hope Apogee sees this video and makes it right. Otherwise, I still have an Apogee Ensemble Firewire to sell if you are interested. Why shouldn't you buy Apogee? I have an Apogee Ensemble Firewire that was created by Apogee specifically for Mac users and all the specifications were perfect for me because I mix, I master, I do beats, but I also compose. So being a DSP sound interface, it was perfect. As soon Apple updated their Mac OS and my Apogee ensemble stopped working properly, I contacted Apogee. My sound interface was still under warranty and they should do something about it. And then again, they didn't care. The amazing thing was, after like a month or so, I received an email from Apogee saying that my Apogee Ensemble Firewire worth is £1,000 or $1,000 as a trading equipment. So I just would have to trade in my Apogee and I would get £1,000 discount in a new equipment. And I said, OK, let's do that. And they replied, yes, your Apogee Ensemble, it worth is 1000 but only if you trade it in for an MK whatever, which you would have to pay another 1000 to make it work, which is... <laughs> Are you joking with me, Apogee? Seriously? They proposed me a $500 discount. But how come if my Apogee Ensemble worth is 1000 so now I have a sound interface that worth is £1,000, $1,000 and I cannot trade it in. A sound interface that is made exclusively for Mac operating system but after some Mac operating system updates you call that sound interface outdated and you don't give any support to the people that bought it and use it to work. If you buy a car and the car brands releases a new model in the upcoming years, they will still support their old models with old parts. You can't afford a new car every, every year, right? Imagine that your car breaks down. What are you going to do? Buy a new one? Some of us can't afford a new sound card every four years. So I went from Apogee Ensemble Firewire, which cost me at the time almost 2,000 euros, to this, which is worth more or less 200 euros. I believe the new Apogee business model is not quite ethic because they can make new drivers for the old models, but they simply don't because they expect people to buy the new models instead. I'm not saying that Apogee does not have good equipment and great sound interfaces, which they actually do. The thing is, they lost their ethics, they, they lost their love for music, and I don't think that's fair for sound engineer producers like me that try to live off music, but suddenly an update comes out and you cannot work with your sound interface. So you have an expensive paperweight. I would not recommend you to buy an Apogee equipment. Don't buy Apogee unless you have money to spare and you don't care. Imagine that in six months, Apple updates their Mac OS again. And who is going to guarantee you that Apogee will support that new Mac OS version? I, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe is really important for my channel and it's free. And if you like this video, leave the thumbs up. The thumbs up.